Hello folks and welcome back. Uh, this is not an adventure vlog. This is just an update on things that, you know, some burning questions you may have had, things around me, how I'm surviving, etc. So let's do this. Roll that intro. Okay, first things first. Uh, Saro Punta and environs, Volcan, etc. Just to give you a quick update, um, Hurricane Iota, which came shortly after Hurricane Ita, or Ita, uh, it did not affect us here in Panama as much as Ita did. So I'm happy to and very blessed to report that um, the restoration efforts are well underway. Uh, the people are kind of gathering themselves i'd like to head there in a week or so just to give an update like a video update and also to kind of you know lend a hand where i could again so that's a bit of good news and i'd also like to talk about some charities that have been able to supply me with links that you can do online donations to kind of you know help with the relief efforts and so on um, one of those is the group that i went up there with and the other group is red cross of panama so those are the only two reputable bodies that I've been able to find out about. If you who are viewing this video know about some other reputable charities that I can post their link to be able to get donations online, please let me know in the comments below. And yeah, let's help these people get their feet back on the ground, you know. So there's that. But all in all, we got away from that second hurricane, but there are the areas that did not. Nicaragua got a beating. Honduras got a beating. I saw some videos online, like the one that I put up, of some devastating effects that it had. In addition to those two charities, uh, there's a body that reached out to me from Trinidad who they were thinking about sending a container of items to Panama. I just want to tell them thank you for the gesture and i am helping in any way i can to get the logistical side of that sorted out so more help is coming so thank you all who have been helping me find avenues to use this platform for as much good as i possibly can to get help and relief to these uh, individuals so keep it coming keep all the good stuff coming the next thing i want to talk about is just to kind of give you all an update on how i'm surviving here what my life has been like since i started this channel just a bit about of you know the future of my stay here if i'm going home all of these things so nothing much has changed as far as where i'm staying and how i'm surviving in a big way you all have helped me massively in just getting through these other three months that have, since i've started the channel my patrons who have signed up to my patreon.com platform thank you so much you all are helping me eat you all are helping me gas up the car to be able to go to some of these places to bring you more content. Thank you to my sponsor of this channel, the, my, the sponsor of this video, Inside Panama Real Estate. They have also been helping me with that, just to have a roof over my head. And you know, like it's nothing more than that. Like what I have access to right now isn't giving me much leeway, but it's at least giving me the essentials to be able to have a place to stay, get some food, and create content get to the places that i need to create content hopefully all my equipment stays intact for those who are continuing to support me thank you so much you are helping to make this happen uh if there are those that are viewing this channel right now that want to help support and get this channel to the next level and ensure that i continue to bring you good content the link is in the description below patreon.com slash adventure rich you can join it's it's a monthly thing you can contribute as little as two dollars all the way up to whatever you feel comfortable uh, contributing to this entire journey and this cause. It all goes into and is reinvested into bringing you content, more and more content all across Panama, everything you want to know about it. And I appreciate everybody that has been commenting and asking questions. Those things are helping me trigger new ideas uh, and give you more and more of the content that you are hoping to see on the channel so thank you so much again i am also thinking of doing a live coming up so in the community tab of this channel i have a poll running where you can tell me what's the best day and time that will be good for you to tune in for me to do a live whatever you call it <laughs> i haven't done it before so 
it'll be a first for me. Hopefully I don't make a complete mess of it, but you'll be able to connect with me, ask me questions right there and then. Just give me an opportunity to connect with my subscriber base and whoever else may like to, to log in there. So yeah, that should be fun. Be sure to go over to the community tab, click on that poll. Let me know what day and time works for you and let's get this going. So that's my life in a nutshell since. It's just been surviving, going to places, filming, connecting with people and doing more content for the channel. So to my patrons, I know I have not been uploading over the past couple of weeks the People of Panama segment that I do inside there just for you. And it's simply because of all the craziness that has been happening here. I haven't been able to connect with people and do interviews to bring you that information and that content. But that will be sorted out pretty soon. So I'm getting back on track with that and I will be bringing you a lot more interviews over the next couple of weeks. For the others who are not my current patrons and you're interested in seeing that segment, be sure to head over there and subscribe to patreon.com slash adventure rich. The other announcement I have is that I, and it's no secret by now, I have released a clothing line. It's not really a clothing line, it's just pretty much some nice designs and products that I've put forward using some of the phrases that I may use in my vlogs just off the top of my head and I'm using those things to bring you some nice attire and, uh, and apparel and merchandise. So things like let's do it. They say curiosity kill the cat. I'm that cat. Things like that. I've done little designs that will, I mean, if you're a cat person or if you just like how that Satan rings, if it registers with you, by all means, cop something. So for the cat lovers and so on, you have that. In addition to the let's do this line that I have, I have done a patriotic line. November is a very patriotic month for Panama. And because of that, I've done some in time for that month and beyond so i've done baby onesies i've done kids i've done women's in addition to the hoodies that i absolutely love i need you all to check out that white one though that white one is sweet i think i'm gonna get one of those for myself as well i have done a trinidadian version i mean i am trini can be out just, just supporting panama and forget where i come from right so i've done a trinidadian version of let's do this and it's also available on the store so head over to the store Check out the items, see what you like, cop something, and I will be adding more and more designs, probably like two designs a week, to that store, and I will pretty much announce it as the weeks go by and give you the opportunity to link towards that. So check the link in the description below for the actual store where you can get to see the items that I've been bringing out. And you would have seen me actually wearing some of them in the vlog. So I would admit that hoodie feels really good. Especially if you're in a cool place, that thing works. Um, you can even if you're in a, a, the tropical areas, you can use it at night. It's really nice. It's really warm. It's really soft and comfy. So, at least I can vouch for it now that I have a couple of the items of my own. All of your supporters are appreciated, and I hope you like the items. The other announcement I have is that I am now officially affiliated with one of the largest real estate companies here in Panama called Inside Panama Real Estate and I am joining forces with them to get information to my subscriber base and anybody who is looking at these videos and have expressed interest in the comments and messages about moving here to Panama, information on doing such and properties, potential areas that they may be able to live in and what the properties there look like. These people have locations, six locations across Panama and have the variation if you want this nice uh mountain lifestyle you know when it's nice and cool and you have the altitude the lush green areas there are properties there for that if you want to live on the beach side with and like you know high-rise apartments and surf every day there are properties for that so and everything in between we pretty much have properties everywhere so by all means if you want to continue to reach out to me you can send me an email at richard at ipreinfo.com and send me what you're interested in and like give me an idea of what you're interested in. I'll be able to send you listings geared to that. In addition, some information on what the process is like in moving to Panama. So I'm happy to announce that. Thank you inside Panama Real Estate for having me on board and sponsoring the channel and being able to supply this information to the people who are interested in it. Uh, Panama is a great place to, to live. 
I would recommend it. And of course you have to live somewhere when you get here, right? So let's check it out. Be sure to hit me up on that email address. It's also in the description below if I said that too fast. Another thing I want to touch on is that uh, I'm trying to figure out, and this is for the Panamanians and the people who know, what is the best cell phone company that I can utilize and possibly work alongside, work with on this channel to bring me the best service when I'm getting out there into those very deep parts of the jungle or rural areas of Panama. I still want to be able to be connected based on the fact that we get into some dangerous or sticky situations and we would like to at least be connected when those times come if something in the event of something happening um it would bring a lot of peace of mind and just knowing that you can make a call if and when those things do happen is a huge 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 benefit for us in embarking on this mission to bring all of panama to this channel hit me up in the comments below let me know who is your preferred provider, where you have been in Panama, where you didn't expect to have service and ended up having service so that I would be able to now get that service and even mention them in the channel to, you know, as, as part of a partnership to let people know that, okay, this, this provider is really getting you service in the places that, 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 that matter. I, I know I can always depend on the Panamanians around to help in whatever situation, like that is just what Panama is and that's the experience I've had but just in case there aren't any around or something else goes down i'll always like to be connected so hit me up in the comments uh, below and let me know what your preferred provider is okay so the last thing i want to touch on and speaking of you know using this platform for good there's a gentleman that reached out to me from panama city well he lives in panama city he's from brazil he worked in panama and on i think in the free zone in Colón and for many months he's been out of a job he has been depending on local people for support and survival here he's been in touch with his embassy but they haven't been able to be of much help and he is surviving on very little um i've been able to kind of legit check his information and um i myself have been in that situation so it's a little it's a little bit tough for me to just not take action or help in some form or fashion so his name is Matthias and he is from Brazil he lives here in Panama he works here he I don't think he has the opportunity to go back just yet but he just wants to get some food on his table so I would appreciate if some of you would uh, consider helping him out and by helping him out I'm talking about just being able to send him either food items. I will I will leave a link down below. Two links actually. One to his PayPal account and two, an online supermarket link that you can use to send him I grocery items for him. And what he will do is be able to just go to that supermarket and collect the items. If you want to give him money, that's fine. If you want to make sure that your money is going in the right place and getting him food items, the link is also in the description below. So he sent me his passport information, he sent me where he lives and all of that. He sent me photos of himself holding the passport, so I think it is straight up legit. And the fact that he's asking just for people to buy food products for him and not send him money, I think it's legit. I personally, I don't have that much to be able to help him. But if I know that I can utilize my platform to help him, I definitely would. And that's it. Um, that's my quote-unquote quick video update for this segment and um, I have a new adventure vlog coming up on Saturday as per usual and I just want to thank everybody who's been viewing who has been supporting the journey from the first video that I uploaded three months ago maybe four three months ago and have continued to come back here and observe the journey as we go along so thank you so much and I will see you on Saturday don't forget to go vote on that poll about doing the live. The, the, be the best day for me to do that live for you to be a participant of that. So, see you then. Adios. Let's do this.